from the West Indies, um, Brandon, commiserations. Uh, it was a good start from you at the top of the order, but unfortunately falling 11 runs short. How do you assess your, your first T20 here in Australia? Yeah, I mean, as you said, it was, it ended up being a close game. We got a very good start. You know, we needed that chase in such a big total. So, um, obviously, after we got that start, you know, we felt a little bit slow down a bit too much and it became too much in the back end. So, you know, it's something just to learn from. A great start for you, an 89 run opening partnership alongside Johnson Charles. When you're coming from the Bangladesh Premier League, how do you then adjust to Australian conditions? Yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly the total opposite, you know, conditions wise. But fortunately, I've been here before, so I'm, I'm familiar and I know. You know how to adapt to it. You know, it's really just mental most of, most of the, the time. Um, these pitches are obviously very good batting wickets, so you know it's easy for batting. You, know, you mentioned you've been out to Australia before. Unfortunately, last time you were here, it didn't go according to plan for the, the World Cup. But with a World Cup on the horizon here, how focused is the group that you've really got these these last three games to try and settle on the squad? Yeah, I mean it, obviously selection is not you know to me. I'm, I'm just focused on, on playing the game as best as I could. Um, but yeah, the group has been going really well, you know, we've won the last three series before this, so we have a, a good momentum going into the World Cup. Obviously, we'd like to win this series as well, so we have to win the next two games. And you played here in Tassie before, but it is slightly different with the breeze and uh, and the short boundaries on the hillside. What was your mindset when you were, obviously, trying to get the West Indies off to a flying start against a pretty imposing total of 213? Yeah, as I said, you know, obviously the power play is very important, you know, that's when only two feet are out, so it's, it's easiest to, to try and get boundaries at that time, so me and, and John, we try to do that, you know, um, obviously with the dimensions of the ground, you know, the straight boundaries are long, so we didn't really want to take them on um, too early, and uh, try to get as much boundaries as we could square the weekend. You got the beanie on, it's cold here in Tassie, you had Adelaide on Sunday, so you don't have a lot of time in between now and then, is it just simply acclimatising and maybe the odd net session? Yeah, I don't think we'll have a practice session because we just travel and play the next day. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's mental preparation at this point. You know, everybody knows their game pretty well, and you know, we'll definitely want to come back stronger next week. Brandon, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.